There's two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Forget something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> Think your boyfriend's an arsehole? <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you won't mind signing for it then. <sighs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <sighs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. I can't do it. Sorry. It's more than my job's worth. So you're a good boy. Shame. <laughs> Didn't you ever steal a sweet from the sweet shop? Not sweets are expensive. I promise I will bring it back. Nah, look. Forget it. There is no way I'm letting you drive a £200,000 car out of here tonight, all right? What? Look, no more fast cars tonight, all right? Turn around. Slowly. Now get over here. Drop it. The security guard pay you enough to be a hero. Smart. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do.
Get back here. Aren't you the guy from the car park? Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. No, I'm all right, mate. That's my train. Not anymore. Oh, shit. Get in the car, sunshine. Get in the fucking car. I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money, my family's got no money, what am I to you? A problem, that's what. You know the guy broke into the garage, don't you? Maybe. I didn't see his face, okay? I can't identify anyone. But you can identify me. Just relax. Come on. Who's the baggage? It's fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, letting an eyewitness get away. I've got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ! And who the hell's gonna drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. He needs to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that, you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I... I don't know who you guys are, or what you're up to, okay? I'm not gonna say anything to anyone. Well, it's not gonna take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? Guess we'd have headaches like you. Hold oh, still, making things worse. Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with the valet key. A valet key, what the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face. Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. But you can. Certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. OK, let's get set. Just because you've invited me to join you doesn't mean I'm up for it. You don't have a choice, mate. Just like I don't. This is what's going to happen. 
I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and turn him in? Or do I keep my mouth shut? Mystery ladies and difficult choices. So much for the quiet night. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Who's fooling themselves now? A crime's still a crime. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. 9.20, thank you. I see you. 9.30, again to my row left. On the left. 9.40, do I hear 9.40? 9.40, thank you, sir. Looking for 9.50. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once, 9.50 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvellous 12th century cabinet with its Hidden compartment, which is 150 grand. For its time. Just try to keep it out of the tray. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of a red now. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, he can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we shall begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bid. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five you get 20% on the sale price, don't we? On the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? 
Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you, ma'am. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? The odds are not good. Nine I'm, I'm looking for. Price increases on a logarithmic. All card. around the room. In on zero. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you very much. The chance is getting away with another nine bid. So do I hear nine five? Fair warning. I'm selling. Trust nine million me, once. Honest. Nine million twice. Sold to the gentleman on my right for nine million times. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. Twenty-three percent. I guess we'll never know, will we? Come on, let's get out of here. The wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, but mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. OK, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? OK, what are my options? I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. Or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees. Or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there. What are you doing in here? Yeah, what the fuck am I doing here? What's my story? I just had to make a quick call to confirm a payment. Your colleague across the hall let me in. Is there a problem here? No, it's fine. He's just making a call. <laughs> what are you doing? There's been reports of someone stealing from offices all over the building. This guy fits the description. <laughs> It's not complicated. No oh, shit. Are the video feeds cut? Well, I fucking hope so. Did you get the code for the gate? Yeah, but my gear's still upstairs. We're gonna leave it. We're out of here. I think it's pricking with you. Frank? You alright, mate? You don't know when to stop, do you? If you'd been smart, this could have gone off clean as a whistle, but instead... Come on, Frank. Don't mug me off. No, you can make a murderer of me, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no worries. Sweet. See you later. Right, let's go. OK, you enter 309220. 309. Hit enter. Enter.
Go to here. away with that. Well? You know what irritates me about you? You're a blank book. Impossible to read. Now, I can read people, but you? Nothing. Pitch black. See what I mean? Well, we have it. Fuck for that. Just get out of it. Nothing here. Nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. It's on Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Hey, that's not what we agreed. Not here, just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mailing. Mailing, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. Come on. We need to get away from here. Where are we going? We're going to take this bolt to the police where it belongs. What? You heard me. Are, are you out of your mind? Oh, look, I'm not a criminal, all right? You think the police will believe? If I bring the bolt back, yeah. Then you're a fool. You just saved your life. You can't go to the police.
Watch me. Come on, Manning. Best of luck, yeah? I'm under arrest. Not yet. You allege someone forced you to steal this? Yeah. They threatened to drug me. Threatened to drug you? Convenient. I'm telling you the truth. Will you be the judge of that, sir? Like you said. This uh, robbery occurred over two hours ago. It took you a while to locate your conscience, didn't it? It's been a complicated night. So it seems. Exploding vans, mysterious Chinamen. You know what I think? I think you're up to your balls in this, but you got scared, and now you're trying to lie your way out. I'm telling you the truth. Anyone to back you up? There was a girl. <laughs> Do you surprise me? Where's she at? She wouldn't come with me. Sounds like the brains of the operation. I'm trying to do the right thing here. Yeah, why don't you investigate this Mr. Wu? He's the guy that they stole the bowl for. He runs a restaurant in Shoreditch, that's all I know. <clears throat> Tony Wu is sitting in the room right next to us. And he's very convincingly denied any involvement in your little enterprise. In fact, when we told him what you stole, he nearly stopped breathing. Any thoughts? Do you know who the Choi family are? Because Tony Wu does. And he knows fine well not to fuck with them. I think you didn't realize that until after you stole the bowl. And now you're sitting here, shitting yourself. Looking for a way out. I want you to talk to somebody. Do you recognize this woman? What the fuck is this? What do I have here? Answer her. It's the Chinese bowl we stole from the auction house tonight. No, it's not. Even though it fools the eye, I must admit. Which is why we rely on an effect called thermoluminescence. It's used to determine when the porcelain was fired. The bowl was created during the late Ming Dynasty, somewhere between 1368 and 1644. So it should be... Between 647 and 371 years old. I guess that's about right. But unlike the bowl I examined this evening, this thing here is less than five years old. So where is the original? Hey, where is it? Fuck. Yes, I dare say. Start talking. To a solicitor, no one else. Appreciate you coming down, Miss Tran. We'll keep you informed. Matthew Thompson, I am arresting you on suspicion of armed robbery. What the fuck? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Look, I really don't know where it is. Tell it to your solicitor. Vehicle 721 in position on City Road. Copy that, 721. Please hold until further notice. Where are you taking me? CID at Knightsbridge. They want you to talk them through the robbery. If you want my advice, I'd help them do it. Start getting a few plus points on your record. 
Get a year or two off your sentence. Can't believe it's come to this. Where did I go wrong? Where did I make the wrong choice? Where is it? <laughs> 